Hello, welcome back again. Well, uh, we have seen now how to access the instance, the cloud instance, OpenStack instance from outside uh, TriStack environment using SSH, using PuTTY. And now let's see how to create a volume. Okay. Now go ahead and click the volume. And now click the create volume button. Give a name. My volume. Okay. Give some description my first volume. And what is the source of the volume? Okay. Now uh, in my first one, I'll I'll create a second volume to have another scenario, but for now. Uh, I'll create a volume from an image. Now, click the volume source as an image. And what is the source image? I'll let me give CentOS 7. This is the image. I want to create a volume out of an image so that I can retain my data after uh, I have terminated the instance. Okay. Now type, uh, let's create an FS and size one gig. Let, let me create one gig only. Availability zone, mm, keep any. Go ahead and click create volume. Hopefully it will be created. Okay, mm, it is downloading. What is downloading? Actually, this is the image. Uh, what happened? There are some errors. Maybe the size is more. That's why. First, what we do is let's delete our instance. Possibly, it does not allow much resources individually. So now if you see that I deleted that instance ephemeral disk and it is gone. There is no trace of that. So volume, I delete again, delete my volume, which is uh, having some error. Now create another, uh, give my, my first volume. image mm, give uh, it should be done by the way but for the time being let me let me create the Cyrus image yeah, so same thing what I did previously I created uh, the view instance from directly from the image now uh, let me create a volume and boot that volume okay same Cyrus image okay type uh, and pass one gig any availability zone okay create the volume Let's see. Okay, it's created. One gig. Um, can I create the next one? Let's try. Create a volume. My second volume. Okay, let's give a different name. My volume from Saint OS 7 image. Okay. Okay, so here Saint OS volume. Saint OS 7. Okay. Volume. Now image. Give Saint OS type and FS. 1 gig. Can I? Okay, let's see. 1 gig. Okay, up to 3 gig available. Let me give 2. 
what happened okay one gig already taken so now it's okay so let me create two gig one already we have used my first volume another one will be taken by this one more will be one gig will be available so do not take two at a time create let's see this time okay it does not take possibly lack of storage okay so fine let's try this one first my first volume which i created out of the service image now go to instance again launch instance and give a name second okay tiny I can create a small one also because uh, no I can't because this is 20 gig root so let me tiny and uh, what did the count one what is the source now now instead of image let me keep a volume and what the volume I have created this one my first volume you you know you have a choice delete and terminate you now if you choose uh, the image you, you see you don't have that choice that to retain or delete but if you choose from volume you have an option to keep it or terminate it um, while terminating the instance so now what i'm doing is i'm not clicking here i i don't select it that means i want to keep and retain the volume after i terminate the instance so what would boot from volume my first volume that is one gig and and go access security same my key pair same network and that's all everything same now go ahead and click launch close it <coughs> uh, hopefully it will run it's a building you see status is active and power state is running now it's running okay go ahead and click that instance log see what is going on there yes it is now already at the console right click and another tab you see that this is already at the console okay now Assign the IP first, the public IP. Uh, associate the floating IP. So we have 163 associate. Okay, this is the old one. Click close it. Okay. Now open party and load this. Oh, what is that? 163. But now it is saying second the second and save test delete 128 136 179 163 and this is the second one and what is the data is okay the login name is Cyrus and what is the uh, same thing right download my key pair because we are using the same key we have not changed the key remember um, we have not changed the key same key um, my key pair right so go ahead and open the second okay open uh, this is a normal warning don't worry about it this is a party security lot for any SSH initially when you are logging in the first time this is this will appear don't worry about it. always click yes so this will be the the uh, instance the IP will be added to your trusted instances or trusted IPs yes 
see it is, we are logged in to the second instance also within using the same IP and now we have uh, the instance created from a volume rather than from an image okay now go ahead uh, just to test go ahead and create okay um, go hello track images my test dot txt okay this is uh, let me create this file and get hell okay so <laughs> sorry um my okay hell so Okay, now we have this file. We want to see that we are retaining that after I terminate the instance. Okay, exit here. Let me terminate it. Terminate the instance. Now you see that I, I don't have any instance running, but I have the volume. I believe it is not deleted yes it is not deleted it we have retained right now create again another instance with the same volume instance name dhint third tiny source is the volume same volume and everything as it is launch associate the IP same 163 which is allocated initially refresh it yes see active and running now see if it is uh, on, on the console log yes it is waiting for input right now open again same party actually this is the same actually i can open with second because the ip address is same right so open it mm, i can uh, just load it and rename it to third and save it and just double click and you see that this is we just logged in and see it is available my test.txt and So that means uh, the same volume we have retained uh, using two instances, separate instances, because we are putting from a volume and after terminating the instance, we have not deleted the volume. Now, um, we have seen now different types of instances, uh, which first one is uh, booting from an image this is normally useful whenever we don't want to create uh, like uh, any uh, web server particularly we don't want to have any uh, session saved it's a surf and die it's very dynamic in nature once um, we want to expand number of servers and we just want them uh, not to create any uh, data it's very th there where uh, we need to have a ephemeral disk where we don't want to have it any data saved to the volume but uh, where we need to have uh, a, a volume of data saved uh, for our future use then 
uh, we need to create volume where and we need to delay uh, we need to attach the image to the volume and uh, can boot from there another thing is okay we can do one thing uh, let's go ahead and delete this terminal okay and let me terminate the volume also okay uh, no let me create it no let me save it okay because i have the file there so now what i'm going to do is uh, uh, let me create an instance okay uh, let me see that in my next video of course okay uh, we'll see in my next video how i can create a an instance and attach a volume after the instance uh, running okay let's see that in my next video thanks